Hey everyone, Jim T. Graham with the RC Groups, joined with uh, by Jason Cole. What's happening, Jason? Ah, Cole? What's happening, man? Hey, uh, I have big news this week, Jason. Yep. We have a brand new RC News sponsor. Woo. The big news is I didn't go hunting for this. A company came to me and said, we love the show. We want to be a part of it. What can we do? So CNHL who makes great lithium polymer batteries. You see them on the site all the time. They're a big sponsor on the site. Have, they've come on and they're sponsoring the RC News. So big thanks to them. I guess I'm going to have to hit that button when I upload the video that says this is a sponsored video. Yeah. And I will have a link in the description below. Uh, in all these RC News broadcasts that we do, I link to everything we talk about. So if you're think something is interesting, you can immediately go look at it. And at the top, I'm going to have a link to our sponsor as a big thank you. So once again, thank you to, and we have a sell from them today that we'll talk about. Yeah, uh, Jason happy to Cole, have them on board. Yeah. Awesome. That's yeah. great for the hobby. Great for us. Great for you. Jason, What do you have any uh, top secret news or uh, mm. builds to talk about? Yeah, I was I was hoping it would come for today's show, but maybe next week we might have a new airplane. I don't think I can say what it is just yet. Well, that's the thing. So we were uh, it didn't show up, and then we both realized maybe we can't even talk about it at this yeah, point. Yeah, I don't think it's been announced officially, but I'm excited about it. It's going to be cool. You guys are going to like it. So yeah, we'll we'll so show it when we can. Let's say it shows up before RC News. Are you going to open it? Or we we open it here? Maybe an unboxing on the... Yeah, it might be hard broadcast. to do it. I, I probably will do my normal unboxing and photography prior to the show. So I can have like the box to show maybe and then maybe show the airplane. Yeah, built, I like that better. Like, assembled. Yeah. Might be I easier think to the do. only time an unboxing is important is if you're buying something and you'd like to see what you actually get, you know? Yeah. But we'll have all of that information in the full review when that releases. And also coming up, um, I almost had it for today and um, it didn't go down, but I have an interview on a hot topic that's going on. I'm not going to talk about the hot topic, um, <laughs> but it's a hot topic. And and I know uh, some intel and I was like, we should get you on the on the broadcast so that you can talk about this. So. Look for it maybe early next week. Hopefully that's going down. And without further ado, we're going to go straight into RC News. Bam. Let's Here do we it. are. This just showed up today. It's from our friends at Hobby King. Um, once again, I have news that I am always reluctant to say, but I think I was officially approved to say this. Hobby King has a new vice president. Uh, this guy is a friend of mine, as in that we have worked together for years on uh, on advertising, on releases, on products, all kinds of things. And uh, he's anxious to get on the show and talk to us. And so we'll maybe get him and Stuart on at the same time. That would be awesome. And uh, I guess what I'm saying here is big welcome to uh, the new VP at Hobby King. It should be great for all of us. Yeah, new leadership and yeah, new direction maybe for for what they're how they're going to run their business. So it's pretty cool. And I can also say he's super into the hobby and dedicated, and he works overtime to make sure all the things are happening. And with that said, the new Aquaholic. Uh, I actually like the name of this boat. I know HK will go a little out there on a, on names, but I think it's cool. Okay, so I like the name, but I I love the color. Like that speaks to me. I'm like I would buy that boat. Holy smokes, it's fast, too. You can see it in the water. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, let's see if they give us any intel here. Yeah, that looks fun. What's How much is it? Hello, and welcome to HobbyKing.com. Do it, Stuart! I'm here to give you a first run. Let's do it. I say run because it's not a plane, it's a boat of the Aquaholic V3. Now you did hear correctly, this is the third iteration of the very popular mm. H-King Aquaholic. The first uh, version, V1, being released quite some years ago. And I remember, a little anecdote for you, I remember, I remember filming that in a place called Clearwater Bay in Hong Kong. And uh, we thought there were sharks <laughs> in the world, but there was lots of fun. Wow. Uh, nonetheless, and that was a fantastic boat, and it still is. Uh, we're going to jump. So it looks like it's ready to run boat. It's got a transmitter built in. Down here by the water's edge, as you can see. Brushless. To uh, 4,000 milliamp power. Oh, those are some big batteries. Water cooled, two 4,000, two, is it 2S? Cooled 60 amp ESC. Under this balloon is the Hard to tell. receiver, and there's the steering servo. 
The hatch is really, really, really simple. It's just a simple twist and lock mechanism. And I'm going to turn it on now and we'll get it out in the water and we'll give it a spin. Okay, here it is in the water. Um, now, keep in mind that uh, you won't really get the benefit of uh, the power until it really Punch gets it. on step. It's somewhat tight here, but we'll give it a go anyway. Okay. Remember, I'm not a uh, boat guy, but I do have <laughs> them, so. Airplane yeah. guys can drive it's boats, too. Boat. It's very much represented. Look at that boat behind it. Great, Thing uh, is huge. Boat. So let's go ahead and give it a spin. And bring it out of here. And as it yeah, it's got some up, power. Really good thing to there we go. Woo! Yeah, right? That's it's on step. <laughs> so it takes a few seconds. That would be good at Tuna Lake, y'all. Now, the product developer behind this guy called Byron from the Hong Kong office, he told me, because he is a boat guy, you've got to keep the speed on to a certain extent in the turn. A knife through butter. And I'll show you the recovery. So oh, wait, if recovery. for whatever reason you found, find yourself... This is, yeah, I think all boats these days come with this. The rudder that I mentioned. This is the important. Top, the recovery rudder, as I call it. You can use the propeller like a propeller on a plane. If you look closely at the propeller, oh, wow. I turn that now. Creates what? a little bit of thrust. You only do it in blips, and then you can use your recovery you rudder. Push it home to steer you in the direction. That's fun. Now this is. I thought really it was going to self right Last ditch uh, resort if you can't get it, you know, wait out and get it yourself. But at least you've got a system then to recover it. Should you find? Well, I've never seen anything like that before. That's pretty and rad. Push, yeah. How much does this cost? I'm going to guess one. Well, well, too late now. One ninety nine ninety nine. There you go. Two hundred bucks ready to run. For a fast and 200 boat. and they do have this mega madness sale i just uh, put the banner up today on this so be sure and check that out and see what you can do uh with all that said i i want to say i do not like the phrase with that said it seems to be a, a youtube <laughs> term really I, and i i was like that's terrible and now i say it um, now that i'm done but, saying things i will say more things yes i just <laughs> yes i'm going to reiterate what i iterate um Hobby King is really bringing in a lot of products. They're getting in the U.S. warehouse. Uh, there'll be more on this with our future interviews. And there is product on the way big time, uh, like the old days of Hobby King, or uh, as I called it, the new Hobby King. Is that We're in the, the new era. Cool. So stay tuned and you'll feel it. CNHL, our new podcast sponsor, also has a 50% off sale. And you can go check that out. Go look at all their batteries and uh, thank them for being, you know, helping promote the hobby and promote our groups right there. There's a link. Uh, scroll up one. You missed the blog of the week. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Blog of the week. Uh, blog of make the week. Sure covering my bases. There and who is this? Um, I'm going to go straight to the blog. Pat, I don't know how to say the name. Pat. Pat Niven. Pat Niven. Pat Niven. Um, she's been RC Group's member since 2008 and been flying RC since 1976. So his blog's about, uh, he's back in the hobby and, and showing some of the uh, aircraft and, and uh, the models he's built and flown over the years. So it's pretty that cool. That is hot. Interesting look at some unique airplanes. This Jets. looks almost better than the cockpit itself. Right? Yeah. It's like a, it's, I, I love like a clean you know, electronics installation yeah, yeah. in a plane. It's yeah, it makes a difference. So uh, we're at a point now in guitar pedals that if you make your own guitar pedal, the inside has to be like that or people yeah. will, they'll, they'll like pick it apart and say, this isn't well done. I've either. seen it too for like uh, IT guys when they show like the server racks and it's like, how clean did they do the wiring? And it's kind right. of like a prestige thing. <laughs> Similar with RC models. Man, this guy's for real. Yeah, it's nice. Good stuff. Go check it out. Also, be awesome. And Jason might feature you on Blog of the Week. Those blogs get so many views. RC Group's Place of the Month. This is, okay, I want to go here. This looks awesome. So this is a, it's not a, it's not an RC flying site, um, but it's on a full-scale airport in New Hampshire. It's called the Airfield Cafe. And oh, wow. it's on the airfield, it's grass strip. Um, but you can go have lunch, hang out, watch full scale airplanes fly. But inside uh, the restaurant, they have all kinds of RC model aircraft hanging. They have a track system, almost like a model train system, but for RC airplanes, you can kind of see it right there oh, a little bit. They're not yeah, moving yeah. there, but, but they'll fly overhead. And so they have just tons of models just zooming through, 
you know, overhead while you're eating lunch or whatever, hanging out. So just a cool you know, place. Man, you don't see yaks very often other than Jim Burke's yeah. yak that right? is gone, that is somebody else owns now, but exactly. So yeah, there's, there's, there's the, the track, track right there. So, you know, it's RC related cause there's bottles inside and it's just kind of neat, neat place to go have some lunch, hang out aviation. Oh, uh, they need to speed that track up. Also, I haven't eaten lunch yet, so yeah, that looked good. <laughs> Go check them out. Also, um, I am like I say, scheduled to talk to Robart next week, and we're gonna clarify some things and talk about their zap glues and their smoke oil and their wheels and their hinges and all the things that uh, they are carrying on with. That's the big news. We'll just watch a little smoke. Listen, I have a theory. If you're at Joe Nall and you have a big plane and the smoke is not on, what are we doing? You know what I mean? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. How dare you not fly with smoke on? It's interesting uh, smoke perspective here. A little vibration there. Yeah. Heavy duty. So go <laughs> check them out at Robart. Uh, I'm, I, I don't quote me here. I think they started carrying the smoke oil about a year ago. And yeah. it's been in the hands of some of the big well-known pilots out there. So if you're into smoke, check that out. The good kind um, of smoke. Okay, Jason. <laughs> I'll let you talk about this. Another thing. what oh. the heck Wednesday. And with the yeah, the video wasn't set for um to be able to be embedded. So we have the link you have to click on. Um but this is the E Flight Draco, pretty, pretty new airplane, right? So sad to see one go down. Um, but it's a good lesson for everyone because um, this sort of semi-new technology, maybe not everybody's tried it, but you know how they have the throttle reverse? So you can come in, land, and slow it down real quick or even back up and go in reverse. Right, um, right. You don't, want, you don't really want to be hitting that switch when you're in the air flying. <laughs> and that's what happens here. And uh, so he's got a POV uh, you know, footage from inside the cockpit. Um, flying with the GoPros. He's got a couple GoPro mount locations. It's a cool looking inside the cockpit view there. Um, yeah, so he's flying, doing some aerobatics. I really like it. It's cool. And then uh, accidentally hits the wrong switch, which throws the motor into reverse. And uh, there's basically no way to recover from that. Pointed at the ground, <laughs> reverse thrust, trying to power up. And uh, yeah, it ends, ends poorly for the plane. But fun video to watch, so be sure to go check that out. Oh, yeah, don't fly over a road either. <laughs> Dude, what the? Maybe, maybe that was a car on the runway. I, I think it's a uh, end of a cul-de-sac that's undeveloped yet. Okay. He okay. does like some, in, yeah, some vertical climbs with some stall turns. Just lots of fun airbags. Going down any second now. There it is. Boom. Ouch. And if oh, you listen to the audio, <laughs> if you listen to the audio when you watch the video, you can actually hear the motor stop and then go into reverse and you're like, oops. Bad day. Oh, come on with your music. Right there. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I just love this guy's perspective. Oh, yeah. Ow. He's plastic. He'll be fine. So watch well, the video, go comment on the thread, tell us what you think and how, or if there's any uh, electronic radio steps that you could make to kind of prevent that from happening in air. You can have maybe an arming switch and then another switch to activate it. There's got to be ways to get around that problem and prevent that crash from happening. Yeah, like turn it off. Hey, I want everyone to know, and all I have to do now is design the shirt, uh, Joan All. High Tech is uh, jumped in and they're going to sponsor the shirts this year at Joe Nall. And so huge thanks. Uh, the whole crew there, I've known them all so long. I've been to so many events with them. They've literally been to Nashville and eaten dinner with me and hung out at guitar picking parties. Mm -hmm. And uh, High Tech is like a staple. They've been a part of the hobby forever. So uh, big thanks for the t-shirt that just got solidified like two days ago. And uh, we always uh, try to highlight anything high tech does. And so this week we have somebody from the field, David Ronifalk. And he's just yeah, last day. He, he finishing up at uh, Truggy races and he's going over his build and all the things he did to be successful that day. 
which I think is really cool to have this in the field stuff where you can actually see somebody who's a competitor and doing well yeah. and learn tips and tricks. Knows the stuff. That's for sure. Right. Yep. What the internet's for. And you can always find them at the top of the site. Let me show you right here in the high tech highlight where we have uh, reviews, uh, videos, unboxings, uh, quick looks, all kinds of good stuff. So all the high tech content you can handle. <laughs> hey, to high tech. See what else we got here. I think we're coming to the end. We have Jets over California. I saw this and thought it'd be a good story, and you beat me to it. Oh, boom. Yeah, May 1st through 4th out in Cali. Um, Jets over California. It's a huge event. Lots of fun. Lots of cool jets. Big, expensive models. If, you're, if you can't fly in it, go be a spectator because it's going to be amazing to watch. Looks like somebody from Horizon will be there, so that'll be good. And you can click here to get all the information so you can figure out how to make it down there if you're in California. Uh, 3D printed plane. Uh oh, I thought I hit the wrong button for a second. Yeah, I, I should IL do a 3D printed plane of the week. <laughs> but yeah, this is maybe a, a graphic. Yeah, it's another uh, model that you can go print, download, make yourself. You know, pretty cool. Like, I love that you could just make it. So there's a whole thread that you can go check out. Yeah. All the information's there, print, uh, you know, settings that you want to use. And I love how it's almost like you can just watch it be, be developed through the thread. Like you can see the first prints and what wasn't, you know, done properly and what they changed and how it morphed into kind of a final uh, STL file that you can, you can download. But it's pretty cool to see the progress. So, Jason, how long do you think it takes to, like, print a whole airplane? Yeah, there's a, I mean, there's a lot of variables and the printer matters too, but I mean, anywhere from 10 hours and up, I would say probably on average. And I know uh, because I was looking at 3D printers, the big thing now is they print faster. They do, and yeah. So and it depends on the material. If you're going for lightweight and you're going to be printing with right. lightweight PLA, foaming or pre-foamed, it prints slower. Even if the printer can go faster, you still, uh, the settings for that specific material slows it down just due to the nature of how it works and foams. Um, so it can not be printing at max speed, but got it. still pretty fast. Very interesting. Well, it's a whole new segment of the hobby. That's for sure. And then we're going to end up right here. The uh, RJ Gritter interview that we did last week was just so good. Uh, you know, you don't know what's going to happen till it's over. And then after we did this, I remember walking upstairs and thinking, man, that was really great interview. It was so fun to talk to him and, and get his insights on the plane and, and his uh, air show career and all that. It was a great, great time meeting with him. I was listening to a podcast this morning and they were like, uh, when did he change the scheme from last year? And how did they know that? And uh, did how did they work <laughs> with him on it? And I thought, it's all in our interview, yeah, man. Watch the show. Yeah. Watch the interview. You got, all <laughs> your questions will be answered. And hopefully next week, we're going to answer even more RC questions that I've, I'm just staying quiet here, but I've been out. Uh, I always <laughs> cruise and read what everyone's saying. And I, and I, t I will know things sometimes. And I'm like, ah, we need to clarify and, and get information out. So hopefully next week I'll be able to do that as well. Uh, Jason, hopefully I'll get a big box in the mail and we can yes. talk about that. And now it's warm. I, cold weather's over. Yeah, is that the case? Hopefully, hopefully. I know we got rain coming tonight, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to some good spring weather. It's beautiful out right now. Yeah, time to fly. That's what it is. On a personal note, um, musically, I, I accidentally, uh, I built a... I built, I call it the psychotic pedal steel. It was, uh, my, my daughter said, you should make this thing and make it as weird as you can. And I did. <laughs> and then somehow that made me be in a band. I didn't, it was, it was thrust upon me. And then last night I was in a music video and it's all because I developed the weirdest thing I could musically. Hey, weird is cool. <laughs> and tonight we're headed to the caverns. This is an underground uh, stage. So it's in an actual cave. It's about 45 okay. minutes out of town. Ooh, in cool. I haven't seen that. And it's some bluegrass thing for NPR. They're shooting a TV show down there and we got invited to go check it out. So we're headed down there. Fine. And uh, I, I, I'm going to ask you this. My wife would say, you know, there's apps for this, but is it going to rain this weekend? Because I actually have to do the. <laughs> this season. I think we're good after tonight. 
um, for the Nashville, greater Nashville, Tennessee area. Uh, it's going to rain through like early morning and then you should be good and clear. All right. Well, it looks like I'm going to mow this weekend. You're going to yeah. go bicycling or are you all healed up? You're ready to go. I, yeah, I'm good to go. Yeah. We'll probably, probably ride, but it's going to be soaking wet on the trails. From, we're getting a decent amount of rain tonight. So probably too muddy for mountain bike riding, but we might do some, some other stuff, go fly some planes. We got some company in town this weekend. So just busy, busy, busy. All right. Well, I'm going to ask everyone out there a favor. Uh, please make a uh, post down below if you have anything you want us to talk about or look at. Um, also, if this is on Facebook, be sure and hit all the buttons. I'm trying to, to turn everything up, and I can't do it without you guys. And with that said, thanks to everyone who has been following along with our RC News. I'm watching the numbers go up every week, and that makes me really happy. Um, so thank you to everyone out there who watches this and, and big thanks to Jason Cole, who is a busy fella and takes time out of his day to sit here and talk to us. And yeah, I'm not the greatest speaker. So I feel like I'm bringing the show down and Jim is the, the guy carrying it. He's the, he's the personality of, of the show. So I'm just here for fun. <laughs> so in real life, my wife, uh, will be out and we'll be with people who aren't talking and uh, when, when it's over and we're driving home, she'll be like, you know, you don't have to fill every second with words. And I'm like, <laughs> actually, I feel like I do. That's kind of like uh, what I've been doing for 17 years is filling up the air. You know, yeah, that's how video works. Yeah. And with that, I'll stop talking. Uh, thanks, everyone. RC News. Go check out rcgroups.com. And big thanks to our new podcast. Yeah, podcast sponsor, uh, CNHL. Lithium Polymers, check them out. Click the link below. Support them so they all keep supporting us. Right, Jason? There you go. That's how it works. Bye.